Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog post about, make sure I pronounce this correctly, dichloracetate. I will refer to it simply as DCA uh, for the rest of the for the rest of the blog the vlog post. Dichloracetate DCA. According to the articles below, uh, DCA has been shown to um, inhibit or is cytotoxic to many cancers, specifically in this case, multiple myeloma. Um, <clears throat> that's the good news. Uh, further good news, according to research. DCA enhances uh, the effect of um, Velcate, Bordesomib. Uh, the, um, the challenge you will face, I, I found I was able to, to find um, DCA supplements on Amazon, so it is readily available. I caution you, however, any um, therapy that's not approved by the FDA, not, that has not been studied or approved by the FDA, <clears throat> While it doesn't seem like there are many side effects, there could be. I would work with a doctor, um, a doctor who knows your, your medical history, just to be safe. So um, there are a long and growing list of non, um, non-conventional um, therapies that work with chemotherapy or that kill multiple myeloma are cytotoxic to multiple myeloma on their own. DCA is yet another one of these. Um, I think it's fairly inexpensive as well. Um, always, always remember, if you stick to uh, exclusively to m- m- conventional myeloma therapies, y- you will relapse, remission, relapse, and end stage. Um, we myeloma patients are, are almost compelled to think outside the conventional myeloma box. Um, on that note, if you have any questions or comments about DCA or any other uh, non-toxic uh, complementary or integrative evidence-based therapies, or about conventional therapies as well, scroll down the page. Um, post a question or a comment, and I will reply to you ASAP. Thank you for your time and attention.